Today we're in the Accursed Mountains, or the Albanian Alps if you're telling your family back home. In this video, you'll find out what to expect on the Theft to Valbone hike and which direction is better. We'll also take you to the Granazi waterfall and then to the natural spring, the Blue Eye. What do you think of the weather? Beautiful. Can you see? No. We also got caught out in torrential rain, so that's always fun. Will we get stuck in the mountains or will the sun shine once more? Keep watching to find out. We first arrived in Theth with no accommodation for our time there, so we visited the tourist centre to get some information. Finally made it. The man behind the desk offered us a place for us to camp on his property. There was hot showers and the trail to Valbonna was right next to the property. We happily agreed and for 10 euros a night we had our home base for the next couple of days. Once we were set up, we made our way to the Granazi waterfall. Hi Valina. It takes about 45 minutes from the town of Theth and boy was it a nice walk. The trail is easy to follow and there's markers as you get closer. The last 15 minutes are a bit more challenging but once you make it to the top you can have a dip in the glacial waters to cool yourself down. Just a heads up, it's absolutely freezing though. From the waterfall, you can continue along the path walking in the valley to the Blue Eye of Theth. It's about five kilometers to the car park and also another two kilometers to get to the actual spring. It's a beautiful walk through and once again, you'll be able to cool yourself off once you get there. The water in the spring is absolutely freezing. We thought we'd have a competition to see who could outlast the other swimming in the eye. I left after about a minute 30, and you can see the look of satisfaction on Evelina's face. Look how happy she is with herself. I drowned my sorrows at the restaurant across from the Blue Eye car park, then we went back to home base to prepare for the big hike tomorrow. The big, big hike. The hike from Theft to Valbonna is about 18 kilometers, and it's the only way to access each village without going the whole way around. So with our round trip, it's gonna be over 36 kilometers. I really hope we're ready for this one. Show me how you walk, Evelina. <laughs> well, now like this. The first part of the hike from Theth is quite steep, but it's always good to get the legs warmed up. You make your way through the forest, and then you'll find this building. Let's hope that we found a restaurant right now. It's either a restaurant or a house. Looks shut either way. Polish pancakes. Polish pancakes. Yeah, not the moment. At least the place was open. <laughs> Lucky it was open, so we could get some breakfast. Bye. Bye. Straight after that, we got into a horse traffic jam. Hello, horse. Bit of traffic on the roads. We made it to the pass and continued down, making sure we always stop to admire the views. Hey, mate. Spoke to a lot of the people on the way down. Everyone manages to go from Valbonnes, stay the night in Theth, and then come back. Or stay in Theth, go over to Valbonnes, have a, have a sleep, and then go back. Me and Evelina, no. One day, baby. Are we keen hikers or are we just idiots? We don't know yet. Yep, I'm sure you have your answer soon enough. We didn't know what we're about to get into. Anyway, there's lots of spring water stops on the way down to quench your thirst, along with a lot of cute little shops selling cold drinks. The Valbonna is this way. Once you get to the bottom of the valley, you walk along the riverbed, scattered with pine trees throughout. We made it out of the valley and found a nice restaurant to have lunch. We found out the last two kilometers of the trail are actually on road. We decided to turn around and head back to Theth. That's where our troubles really started. Nice and sunny as you can see. <laughs> Hear the sun making thunder noises. Hope it holds out, eh, hey, Evelina? Yeah. It started raining. Drops are about the size of a fucking golf ball. So as you can see, the weather took a turn for the worse and we still had over five hours to hike back. We did manage to find some refuge. We found a shelter. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful 1600 home. Beautiful garden out the front. Beautiful space. What do you think of the weather? Beautiful. Can you see? No. <laughs> After we sold that property, we oh, swam God. our way up the mountain a little bit further. Oh. Poor Evelina, she couldn't really see, but there was some sun on the horizon. Casual four more hours to go to Theth. It's a cheeky stroll up near the sun. So while the rain had stopped, we kept going. So we were hoping the fog would clear before we got to the top of the pass. Maybe our luck will change. The next five minutes. 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Evelina said five minutes, and this is what happened. That five minutes, baby. Made it to the bloody top. Here's the view at the top of the pass. Go down the mountains now. Look like wet dogs. Smell like wet dogs. Hello. Hey guys. Very well. Dude, he's got a horse. How good, huh? You want right. to drive? <laughs> huh? Yeah, if, we, if you want to, if I can take him that way. <laughs> All right, see you guys. On the home stretch now, our legs feeling like jelly, but we're treated to this godly sky. Light is shining on down on the town. Where we need to go. Oh. Extreme stones. <laughs> so the direction I think is better to start from is oh, Valbonna to Theth. I'd much rather complete the flat valley walk at the start and then get into the incline. Coming into Valbonna from Theth, we thought that the valley would never end. So definitely, yeah, Val wanted to death. Octopus. Look at this fucking devil climbing the hill. You did it! You okay? Ah, oh, we did it. Now let's go get a pizza. Cheeky pizza. Yeah.